Hi and hello everyone. So welcome to another fantastic for MCQ discussion for upcoming NEET PG or FMG exam. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now to get the more updates. So let us start with the first MCQ. A pregnant lady was presented to medicine OPD with burning menstruation and was diagnosed with urinary tract infection. Which of the following antimicrobials is preferred in this patient? So first of all, please understand in the exam, if they give lady, if they give lady, so check in the question whether they have given pregnant woman, lactating woman, menopausal woman. So please check into that. So this is a pregnant lady. So we should be very careful when we give the drug. Now this pregnant lady is having urinary tract infection. So which drug I can give it? Option A, doxycycline. Option B, amikacin. Option C, cifixime. Option D, ciprofloxin. So try to answer this. Yes, if you are telling cifixime, then you are right. Now pregnant women, we don't give tetracycline like doxycycline because they can cause teeth discoloration and bone damage. So we are not going to give them. Streptomycin like amycacin, streptomycin, they are aminoglycoside. We don't give it in pregnant women. They can cause overtoxicity in the fetus. Fluoroquinolones, we don't give it in pregnant women because they can cause cartilage damage in the fetus. And that is important for the growth. Cartilage is important for growth. So remember, in a pregnant woman, we don't give the drugs called fat. Contraindicated in pregnant women, fluoroquinolones, aminoglycoside, T4 tetracycline. Then which are safe in pregnant women? Let me write here. Safer antibiotics in pregnant women. Remember the mnemonic PCM. P for penicillin and C for cephalosporins and M for macroids. Sir, what are macroids? Macroids, azithromycin, erythromycin like that. Sir, what about sulfonamides? Sulfonamides are not teratogenic but they are avoided in pregnant women because sulfonamides, if you give it in third trimester of pregnancy, they can displace bilirubin and the bilirubin levels may go up in the fetus leading to jaundice and carnitris. So this is what they will test you in the exam. So coming back to the question, the answer is C. Cephexime because Cephexime is a cephalosporin. Okay. Moving on to the next question. A patient was on chemotherapy for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. His total leukocyte count is now 2000. You know, it is between 3 to 11,000. Which of the following drug is effective in this condition? So remember, whenever we use anti-cancer drug, we call it as chemotherapy. When we use chemotherapy, they also suppress the bone marrow. So there will be bone marrow suppression. So when bone marrow is suppressed, there is decrease in WBC, decrease in RBC, and decrease in platelet. So you know what happens if there is decrease in WBC? Infections can happen. RBC anemia can happen. Decrease in platelet, thrombocytopenia, bleeding episodes. Now, how to treat this? So we have four options. Velgarastim. Opralvacin, Oepoetin Alpha and Amifostin. So try to answer this. If you are telling Phil Grastim, then you are right. So Phil Grastim, if you see the name, the name ends with Grastim. So it's a granulocyte stimulator. So it is a GCSF analog. So that can be used to overcome the decrease in WBC. One more drug which is available is GM-CSF analog and the name is sar gra mo -stim. You can see the name. The name has G for granocyte, M for monocyte, stimulator. The name is sar gra mo -stim. So both are used if the WBC count are less. The next one is opral vacuum. You can see kin means it is interleukin. 
which interleukin you can see the 11 here 11 it's an interleukin 11 analog and it is used to manage what it is used to manage thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia <coughs> thrombocytopenia due to anti-cancer drugs so that is tested repeatedly you know poitin erythropoietin e poitin darbapoietin these are all for wbc now this is used to manage sorry this poitin are for rbc's e poitin darbapoietin they're used to manage anemia due to anti-cancer drug due to any other drug or due to ckd we can use it so anemia due to chronic kidney disease anemia due to drugs we can use it then coming to amifostin amifostin has two properties it is a radio protector drug and also it has cytoprotective drug so it is also used to prevent cisplatin induced nephrotoxicity so it is used to prevent cisplatin induced nephrotoxicity so the name is amifostin so what did we understand from this mcq so whenever we give anti-cancer therapy there can be decrease in wbc rbc and platelet and what are the drugs we use to manage this we have understood that okay let us move on to the next question a patient visited an endemic area of falciform malaria and was given prophylaxis for malaria how many weeks he needs to continue the drug after leaving endemic area so read the question and try to answer it seven days 14 days 28 days three months so first of all let us understand the malaria prophylaxis malaria prophylaxis so somebody is traveling to malaria endemic area they have to take the prophylaxis two drugs frequently used one is doxycycline so doxycycline is taken one to two days before journey suppose this is the start of the journey this is the end of the journey so then doxycycline should be started one to two days before and then it has to be taken daily during journey and after coming from this end of the journey should we continue it yes you have to continue it for how many days 28 days so even after you come back from the journey you have to take it for 28 days so this is for shorter journey suppose you are going for longer journey more than six weeks travel then we can give a longer acting one the name is mefloquine mefloquine can be taken one to two week before journey this is the start this is the end of the journey then mefloquine is taken once weekly so once weekly it can be taken and after coming back should we continue yes you have to take continue for four weeks nothing but 28 days the advantage of mefloquine is it's a weekly tablet you can be taken but it should be avoided because it can cause neuropsychiatric adverse effect so patient having neuropsychiatric symptom should not be given mefloquine very very important and same thing mefloquine should not be given in cerebral malaria because already patient is having neuropsychiatric symptoms many students ask me sir why should we give doxycycline instead of give mefloquine because mefloquine is more toxic compared to doxycycline so lesser travel give doxycycline longer travel give mefloquine so the question is asking a patient after returning from endemic area how many days he has to take further he has to take for further 28 days the answer becomes 28 days let me go on to the fourth question a patient was put on morphine so what is morphine morphine is an opioid and uh, where it was put for cancer pain due to carcinoma of pancreas you know any cancer there will be cancer pain and the best ones are opioids his pain got relieved initially but now after three weeks the pain is not getting relieved for the reason for this or the reason for this decreased absorption of morphine no upregulation of opioid receptor no desensitization of opioid receptor yes increased elimination of morphine false See, if you give opioid repeatedly, they activate the receptor mu kappa delta. So, if you stimulate a receptor repeatedly, the receptor will undergo two things. 
they become desensitized desensation of the receptor and down regulation the receptors will come down then the same dose of the drug cannot work and that we call it as tolerance so the same dose will not work then how to overcome tolerance increase the dose so i have to increase the dose to overcome this problem i have to give more dose of morphine or one more method not here in other cases for example if i am giving salbutamol every day it may develop tolerance then how to avoid tolerance give it with a gap sometimes it may not be possible for example if i give nitrate nitrate also develop tolerance so we, to avoid tolerance we give drug free interval so all the effects of morphine develop tolerance except two two uh, functions are not having tolerance one is constipation tolerance will not develop for constipation constriction of pupil that is meiosis and convulsions for these three c tolerance won't develop all the other effects like euphoria analgesia those effect tolerance develop so no tolerance for these effect so the answer for this question is even though we are using morphine for cancer pain after some day pain is not relieved because of tolerance the reason is desensitization of opioid receptors coming to the last question 26 year old young lady attends medical emergency and is labeled as acute severe asthma that is status asthmaticus by emergency physician which of following is unlikely be to be the part of the prescription the question is asking in asthma attack which drug is not used so remember albuterol is nothing but salbutamol so salbutamol is the major drug which is a bronchodilator which is used during attack of asthma anti leukotrienes we have montelukast zafirlukast see montelukast is not helpful in acute attack of asthma they are only for prophylaxis aminophelin that is phosphodiesterase inhibitor it is also bronchodilator which can be used in acute attack of asthma magnesium sulfate it inhibits calcium entry and thereby it causes bronchodilation so that is also used in attack of asthma it is given either iv or by nebulization so please remember during attack of asthma we use bronchodilators so what are the bronchodilators available number 1 we have beta 2 agonist you know saba and laba number 2 we have muscarinic antagonist you know sama and lama ipratropium triatropium then we have methyl xanthins which inhibit phosphodiesterase and adenosine aminophilin theophilin and then we have magnesium sulfate so these are bronchodilators used in attack of asthma but the leukotriene receptor antagonist all these are for prophylaxis so the answer will be b so what you want need to answer me at the end of this discussion is can you tell me a drug which is a ig blocker used in prophylaxis of asthma can you tell me two drugs which are used as mast cell stabilizers in managing bronchial asthma so you have two assignment to tell so this is a repeatedly asked question which is tested frequently so the answer is b montelukast is not used in acute attack of asthma and you have to tell me one more drug which is inhibitor of lox used for prophylaxis of asthma so three drugs you have to tell me so if you are finding this content useful beneficial for you please put a comment please like the video subscribe and share to your friends thank you all hope you are enjoying your sessions thank you